welcome to the quick start tutorial for the BigQuery web UI. Head over to the navigation menu and find BigQuery listed under Big Data. BigQuery provides some public data sets that we can access. For the first part of this quick start, we'll use a data set of USA names between the years 1910 and 2013. Here is a query editor. Let's find out what the most common names are in our data set. On the lower right side, there's a green check mark icon. When we click it, it runs a query validator that'll tell us if our query is valid without having to run it. If our query is invalid, it will tell us the error so that we can go back and correct it. Otherwise, we're good to go. Click Run to run our query. The results will appear below. We can view the query results as a table or in JSON format. We also have the option to save the results. How about if we want to load our own data? To check this out, we'll use a text file that contains the most common US baby names of the year 2014. This is what the file looks like, a comma-separated value file, CSV, with three columns. To load this test data into BigQuery, let's create a data set. In the Navigation panel, in the Resources section, click your project name. Then, over on the right, in the Details panel, click Create Data Set. For data set ID, let's enter baby names. For data location, we'll put United States. We can leave all other fields with their default values and click Create Data Set. We've got a data set. Now we can load the data into a new table. Back over in the Resources section, we'll see our baby names data set under our project. Click it. In the Details panel, click Create Table. Let's change the source from Empty Table to Upload. Click Browse and find the CSV file with our data in it. We also want to make sure that we select the right file format, CSV. We'll give our table a name, names underscore 2014, and toggle Edit as Text to define a schema. Name, String, Gender, String, and Count, Integer. Click Create Table. Now that we've loaded data into a table, we should be able to query it. Click Compose New Query. Let's find out the top five male names in our table. Click Run, and we'll get the results here below the query window. And voila, that's a quick start on BigQuery's web UI.